In this video, we will discuss about React Native hooks. They are also called states when you are working with the class based components. And we will develop something like this. So, when you press a button, so it will update the first name. And when I press the button to update the last name, it will be updated. And this is a function based component we will work on. And this age, which will have an decrement and increment functions this is a class based components and we'll use the state so let's see how we do this so let's continue working with our react native application uh, in this application we will discuss about the states uh, they are also called react hooks um, let's uh, continue with the problem so let's for example if i want to click on this button and instead of showing this alert I want to change the text on uh, the app over here. So we have a uh, text over here which is hard coded and written over here. And instead of uh, text written over here, we can actually use uh, a variable which can be a part of this uh, uh, this component. Which let's say I call it uh, first name, and I hard code it like this. And uh, it's up to me if I use semicolon or not. It's uh, JavaScript, so it's flexible. And uh, you see the F name is uh, quite faded, which means that it's not being used. So I can write it over here. I can just save it. And if it's uh, refresh, and you see that my name is uh, appeared over here. And if I want to change this name uh, from here, let's say for example, I call it and I change this to update my name or uh, first I rename the text, update first name. So if I press and pass something to John and I want to actually change this first name which is a constant in case so if I change it to R so that I can actually modify that that letter because with the constant I cannot do that so uh, if I change this uh, or create a function to update name okay so let's write a uh, error function and I want to update this uh, F name. So its scope is uh, global. And whatever I pass over here, let's say for example, name would be changed over here. Okay. So uh, we are sending a string from here, and the function in this case is update name. So this is the function which is update name. So I will actually replace that. So on this uh, uh, button press, which is update first name, uh, this function will be called and uh, uh, John will be sent from here and we'll set this name and it will update that. So that's, that's the normal approach that we do in uh, different programming languages. So if I press this one, you see no nothing has uh, happened over here. So in output, let's for example, if I say console dot log, I see what's inside this F name. So if I save this, and if I update this, so you see in the terminal the name has been updated, but this F name does not reflect over here because this is already rendered so i cannot actually uh, if even i uh, modify the variable uh, it's actually written over here on this screen so even if i change this uh, change will not take any effect for this case i need to uh, do something which is called react hooks or the uh, react states so I actually want this uh, view to re-render. So when, whenever it re-render, it can actually do this and will uh, take the effect of this change. 
so every component in uh, react is uh, having a prop and also a state so this is a very basic concept of uh, react uh, having these two things for function based component in this case we have a function based component it actually does not use directly the state object because it's uh, not a class based component uh, for this uh, we can use use state which is a part of uh, react and uh, with this we can actually update the state so as soon as the state is updated uh, it will actually re-render and uh, reload uh, all the uh, all the component so so states are actually uh, component based or com at the component level so when you use state uh, use state with the help of use state we can actually uh, create an object which actually has two parts uh, two functions one is let's say for example get first name and another is used to set the first name so the first part of a uh, state is to retrieve the content of uh, of that state and the second function is used to set the content or change the content so as soon as you call this set first name or the uh, or the second function to change the content it will actually re-render the component so i will actually create a uh, use state and uh, it uh, takes an uh, object and this can be anything this can be a javascript object just a string just a variable it can be a bool and number type or a string time type so in this case we have a string so initially let's say for example i can call it that first name here and I use instead of this variable I actually use get first name to display uh, the name over here so I can actually use this get first name over here to display the name and uh, uh, to change the name I will use set first name so uh, first run this thing and then see it's refreshing so first name here so because default name is uh, over here and uh, with the uh, first function which is a uh, which is used to get the content of the state so I actually use get first name over here and I use this so how about if I update this with the help of set first name so instead of doing doing all this I don't need to do this I can actually use set first name function and I pass this name as a string and I can remove this uh, console.log and if I save this and uh, I am pressing this button so if I press this button it's actually changing the state and whatever is passed will be changed and set over here and uh, this return will actually re-render again or this component will be re-rendered and with the help of get first name it will actually get the latest uh, updated state so uh, that's how we can actually create a hook or a or a function states uh, i can also do this for the uh, other one to get last name set last name last name here and uh, instead of second line I can use the get last name getter function of that hook so I don't need to use uh, parenthesis because it's not a function it's a getter so getter actually used uh, without uh, the parenthesis so uh, let's see set last name so I need to create a function or in this time uh, this time I will actually uh, write uh, arrow function over here and I can actually set the last name directly over here so instead of creating my function better approach is to have a function so that you have a cleaner cleaner code so update last name so 
set last name will actually set the state and component will re-render so let's save this and it will refresh so we have a last name here we have first name here so update last name will update the last name and with the pressing of this button will update the state of this button uh, this uh, first name and then we'll show you the result so that's how actually we can use uh, react hooks and as many hooks uh, you want you can create this uh, these hooks can be an uh, array it can be uh, itself uh, an object it's not necessary that you have a uh, single react hook so how about if I ask you to convert this uh, react hook to a single react hook instead of two react hooks to uh, represent a single object and uh, uh, and that object would contain the first name and the last name so when I press or the update the first name so the that part of object will be updated and when I update the last name so that part of the object will be updated and I will use the JavaScript object to retrieve the first name and JavaScript object to retrieve the last name. So instead of having uh, two different hooks, I can create a single hook and that would be a JavaScript object containing uh, key value pairs uh, with the first name and the last name. So let's try that, otherwise I will explain in my next video. So to use single hook instead of two hooks for the first name, the last name, we need to have a JavaScript object. So if you recall JavaScript object concept, so let's say for example if I have a name object, so I can have or I can represent this with the key value pairs. So let's say for example I call it first name and the last name. So this is a simple JavaScript object having two uh, key value pairs for the first name and last name. We can also use this uh, in inside this uh, React hook. So what I need to do is that I create a hook for this object. So get I call it this time because we don't have a first name and last name. We have just we just have a name. So so name set name and the get name so I use use state so initially I can say that first name and the last name and uh, how about how do I use this so because uh, previously we were having get first name uh, which was a string but this time we have an object get name so I will use get name and I have its properties or the keys the last name and the first uh, f name which is for the first name and last name so I can use this I can say the get name dot for the last name so if I refresh so we have a, a dummy uh, data over here which is the first name and the last name so it will replace if I save this it will refresh and the first name and the last name so we have an object over here so how do we set or how do we update the first name and the last name when I press these buttons so when I press this button nothing will happen because the data that represents over here is coming from this hook which is a name object so let's clean uh, the code a bit so I just remove this event handler over here and I also remove this and I will update first name first name is a function and instead of set first name I set name and now when I set name call it f name 
so when I set name I need to set the object having key value pairs and the keys are actually first name or F name and the L name so just passing this name that is in in this case is just a string will not work so I need to set up the object over here so if I set up the object and F name is the key and I say that whenever whatever is sent from here so I make it a bit different so let's make it first name so that you can differentiate so the first name will go over here alright so if I refresh then if I update the first name so it's set over here but the last name text which was uh, displaying over here is gone uh, that's not right so which means that I need to also keep the last name which was previously set because if I do this in this case let's say for example I also uh, use this function over here set set name and inside this function if I say that last name would be this one so if I update the last name so the first name is gone and if I update the first name the last name is gone because when I am setting the object I am just specifying one key value pair which is first name and in this case the, the last name so I need to actually update and keep the last name which is already uh, set so I can do that so I need to specify the last name because I am actually replacing the object so I can get the name dot whatever the name is and whatever the last name is so I'm just not changing the last name okay and if I save this and if I update the last name so this is the last name so if I update the first name you see that the last name has not been changed and similarly in this case I must not change the first name and I just keep the first name just like this with the help of get name and the first name and I set the last name alright so if I save this if I update this update this we cannot see the change so let's change the text a bit so if I save this and if I update the last name and if I update the sorry first name and if I update the last name so you see that we can do that with the help of single react hook and one single object instead of having several uh, properties this will be helpful a bit uh, a bit strange because we need to take care of this when we are setting the first name so there is a one way so the objective of this uh, explanation is that uh, react hook can also use javascript object instead of having a single string number or boot value so we have seen that how we can work with the react hooks to manage the state of a component let's see how we can do this in a class based component so let's create a component which is a class based component of uh, uh, name age so it must start with an uppercase and extends react dot component and uh, for the class based component they must have a render function and inside this render function you can return gsx so let's return simple view and text 
option H. And let's call this component inside or at the end of this. So I will use H class based component. And you see it's over here. So let's uh, add some style with this uh, text. So I will create a style object which is outside this uh, component. So I will create a style for H component. Let's H styles. Style sheet object dot create. Create function takes JavaScript object to create styles and it has a key value pairs over here so which is uh, actually user defined keys so uh, let's call it text and itself is an object and uh, let's say font size to 24 and I will use this style over here in a style property which is age styles dot text now I want to see that how we can implement uh, state uh, and change the state of the object so that the age actually re-renders so the problem is that this age cannot be changed if I add some buttons around it so let's say for example if I have a button having title as decrement and increment so text and in this case in this text I will actually put the age so it will look like this so I want H colon minus sign and the plus sign and H should uh, appear uh, in this. So by default uh, uh, the direction uh, the flex direction is from top to bottom which is in the column so I can actually change that from here. So if I need to put a style object I need to uh, add the JavaScript object over here which can have a camel case uh, styles available and there are some styles which are specific to specific uh, react components but they, these are some there are some styles which are actually very very much specific to uh, some components such as uh, uh, with the text and uh, with the button few styles does not work with the button let's say for example if I want to increase the size of uh, the button text uh, or increase the width will not work with the button so let's add an object with the flex direction to row so in this case it's appearing like this so increase the text size of the number as well and uh, I need to add space between and uh, I need to specify the width of uh, this I can specify width in uh, pixels and also I can specify width in percentage I can spec specify width uh, without quotes and I can also specify width in percentage so let's for example 100% so in this case it must be a string and I can also uh, choose the justify content so justify content actually works uh, on your main access so let's say for example space between so space between means that all the available space inside this div so it will actually add space between the elements or the child elements on the main access in this case our main access is actually the the, the row direction which is a flex direction is row so this is actually our main axis 
so it will actually add the space between the all the elements on the main axis and you see that the space has been added so let's reduce uh, width to 80 percent so percentage is a good thing that because it will utilize the available space according to the screen size so if you specify exactly in the pixels so it will it will be different depending upon the 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 resolution of uh, uh, your device so uh, the layout will maybe look uh, different so this is uh, how you can do this uh, justify content and you can actually do one more thing is that you can put this in another uh, container and you can uh, work with this let's say for example in decrease this to 60 percent like this and these are the buttons so the quick fix is actually we need to uh, create our own buttons but the quick fix is just I'm adding two spaces over here and now I want to implement the functionality of uh, decrement and increment uh, for this I need to use state because uh, if I put this inside a variable will not work if I work this and even if I change the type of variable as we have seen in this uh, previous uh, uh, react hooks uh, concept so for this in uh, in in a class based component to have a state uh, we need to have a constructor and when you have a constructor the first function should be the super so that you set up all the things in your super class in this case the component so so the props and the uh, state should be available we are not using props right now otherwise we need to pass props over here as well so I am using state object which is directly available over here and state object can have several key value pairs in this case we have only one which is of type number so let's add some different value so h and to access that or to use that i can access through the state object and i access the h so in this case if i save this it will refresh and will show me the the age that is coming from the state object to change the state depending upon the key presses so i need to add an on press function over here let's uh, write anonymous function right over here which is the arrow function i can use set state method of this class which is available because of uh, react component base class so with the help of set state i can actually change or update this object state object which means that i need to pass the object having age let's uh, let's make it 30 let's say so if i press this minus button which is on press and changing the state and modifying the object and making a new value or providing a new value which is 30 which is an uh, integer or number value so if I press this you see the state has been changed but we want is that we want to decrement so which means that we need to not override this instead we need to get the current age from the state object and we need to decrement by one so how we can do this this is a very basic javascript concept so to do this we need to set the age and we need to get the age from the state object which is the current age maintained by the state object and we just decrement it by one so if i save this so when it's actually uh, this minus or the decrement button is pressed it is actually changing the state and when it's changing the state it's 
creating a new state object and with the age key and age key is actually having the uh, current state and retrieving the age value and decrementing by one so that's how actually you can do this so if I decrement this so it's 24 23 and will keep decrementing you can have several checks such as you don't want to this function to work below zero value because you don't want this age to go in negative let's say for example if you have age 5 initially and if I decrement that you don't want to do this in negative so you can actually do these checks you can write your function and this so I guess you can now uh, do the similar things for the increment right now nothing is happening over here so that's all about the uh, class based component and maintaining age in that so let's wrap this up we have learned to uh, work with the react native hooks and states on uh, with the function based components and also the class based component so we created a function based component and inside that component we work with this and this is our class based component in which we have two buttons and we are actually managing a state so to work with the state management and react native hooks uh, here is a small thing that you can practice with that you can create something like this this kind of ui these are the buttons and when i press these buttons so with the help of uh, react native state it's all up to you either you create a function based component or a class based component it's all up to you it's good if you practice with both but uh, this is something that you can work around and you can play around and you see that how you can do this in a small application like this so let's try that